The Bell Witch Cave is a popular tourist attraction located in Adams, Tennessee. It is said to be haunted by the spirit of a witch who terrorized the Bell family in the early 1800s. The witch was able to torment the family with mysterious noises and physical assaults, and was even able to speak and predict future events. The cave is open for tours, and visitors can explore the history of the Bell Witch Cave and surrounding area. The Bell Witch Cave is one of the most famous haunted places in the United States. The story of the Bell Witch is said to have originated in the early 1800s, and has since become a part of local folklore. According to the legend, the Bell family was tormented by a mysterious entity that was referred to as the Bell Witch. The entity is said to have made strange noises, moved objects, and even physically attacked family members. The family eventually sought help from outside sources, including a local minister and even Andrew Jackson. But no matter what, the entity persisted. Although the actual existence of the Bell Witch is still a matter of debate, the cave has become a popular tourist attraction and is said to be one of the most haunted places in Tennessee. Visitors to the cave often report feeling an eerie presence, hearing strange noises, and experiencing other paranormal activity. The history and legends surrounding the Bell Witch Cave have made it a popular destination for ghost hunters, paranormal enthusiasts, and those who are simply curious about the paranormal. The cave and surrounding area are open to visitors and offer guided tours, camping, and other activities. John Bell was a wealthy farmer and was the first person to report the strange and unsettling events on his property. He claimed that a supernatural force was tormenting him and his family, causing objects to move on their own, voices to be heard in the dead of night, and physical abuse of some of his family members. One night, John and his daughter, Betsy, went out to investigate strange noises coming from the woods. Suddenly, a voice spoke to him, calling itself the Bell Witch. The voice promised to torment them until one of them died. Over the next several months, the witch's attacks became more frequent and severe. The family was unable to sleep and lived in constant fear. Eventually, John became gravely ill and died under mysterious circumstances, leading many to believe that the witch had kept her promise. Despite the family's attempts to rid themselves of the witch's presence, the strange occurrences continued. The legend of the Bell Witch Cave grew, and people from all over came to the property to see if they could experience the witch's ghost for themselves. To this day, the cave remains a popular destination for those seeking thrills and adventure. Some say that the ghost of the Bell Witch can still be heard and felt within its walls, while others claim that the witch's curse still haunts the land. Whether or not the story is true, one thing for sure, the legend of the Bell Witch will continue to be told for generations to come. The Raman Auditorium, also known as the Mother Church of Country Music, was once a place of worship but today, it is an iconic music venue in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee. Built in 1892, the Ryman was the home of the Grand Ole Opry, a weekly radio show that showcased the best country musicians of all time for over 30 years. The Ryman has a rich and storied history, filled with legendary musicians, unforgettable performances, and some say, a few ghosts. The first ghostly encounter at the Ryman was reported in the 1940s, when a custodian claimed to have seen the ghost of Hank Williams Sr. floating on stage. Williams, who was a regular performer at the Ryman, died suddenly at the age of 29, just one year after his last performance at the venue. Since then, many people have reported seeing the ghost of Williams on stage or in the audience, and some claim to have felt his presence during performances. Another ghost said to haunt the Ryman is that of a young girl who died in a fire in the building in the early 1900s. According to legend, a girl's ghost still roams the halls, looking for her parents. People have reported seeing her ghostly figure peering out from the balcony, or hearing her soft cries echoing through the halls. In addition to these two ghostly residents, many musicians and performers have played the Ryman over the years, 
claim to have had strange and unexplained experiences on stage. Some have reported feeling a cold breeze, even on warm nights, or hearing mysterious footsteps or whispers during their performances. Others have claimed to have seen the ghostly figures moving about the stage or audience, or felt a sudden drop in temperature. Despite these ghostly encounters, the Ryman remains one of the most beloved music venues in the world. People from all over come to visit and see the performances, and to get a glimpse of the rich history that has made the Ryman what it is today. The Ryman has been the site of countless, unforgettable performances, including the reunion of the legendary group The Highwaymen, and the farewell performance of Johnny Cash. The Ryman is more than just a music venue, however. It is also a symbol of the city of Nashville, and of the country music genre itself. The Ryman has been the birthplace of many of the biggest hits in country music history, and it helped to launch the careers of countless musicians and performers. The venue has undergone numerous renovations over the years, but its timeless charm and unique character have been preserved, making it one of the most recognizable and beloved music venues in the world. The Haunted Mansion in Memphis, Tennessee was once a grand and luxurious estate owned by a wealthy merchant named William Thompson. However, its beauty and elegance was tarnished by a dark and mysterious history that has made it one of the most infamous haunted places in the state. William was a ruthless businessman who would stop at nothing to make a profit, often exploiting his workers and disregarding their well-being. Despite his wealth and status, he lived a solitary life and was widely hated by those who knew him. One day, William suddenly died in his mansion under mysterious circumstances. Some whispered that he had been murdered, while others claimed that he had made a deal with the devil that had finally come due. Regardless of the cause, it was clear that William's spirit had not left the mansion, as strange and eerie events began to occur almost immediately after his death. The first family to move into the mansion after William's death was the Smiths. Upon arrival, they were quickly met with the ghostly presence of William, who would often appear in their dreams and torment them with visions of his cruel acts. The family was soon plagued by poltergeists and strange noises, and they were forced to flee the mansion in terror. Over the years, the mansion changed hands several times, each owner reporting a similar experience to the Smiths. Windows would shatter without explanation, furniture would move on its own, and ghostly apparitions were seen wandering the halls. Despite the terror they felt, many people were drawn to the mansion, eager to experience the supernatural for themselves. One day, a young woman named Emily stumbled upon the mansion while exploring the city. She was immediately drawn to its beauty and elegance and she soon became obsessed with learning about the haunted history. Determined to uncover the truth, Emily moved into the mansion, determined to find a way to lay William's spirit to rest. At first, Emily encountered only minor disturbances, such as strange noises and unexplained movements. However, as she delved deeper into the history of the mansion and William's life, the ghostly presence grew stronger. Emily found herself being tormented by William's ghost, who seemed to resent her attempts to uncover the truth. Despite the danger, Emily refused to give up her quest. She spent countless hours studying old records and speaking to those in town that knew about the mansion. Finally, she discovered that William had a dark secret. He had been practicing dark magic in the basement of the mansion, using the spirits of his victims to fuel his power. Determined to end William's reign of terror once and for all, Emily ventured into the basement of the mansion and faced off against the evil spirit. The ghost of William eventually drove her out of the house, and the house has been abandoned ever since. And has since become a part of local folk, 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 folklore. According to the legend, the Bell family was tormented by a mist, mist, uh, unforgettable uh, The first ghostly encounter at the Ryman was reported in, 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 in 
including the reunion the reunion William was a Ruth uh, pause pause time between uh, they can make a little pausey pause no I don't know about this one <laughs> it is a popular tourist destination finally freeing the mansion from his grasps The legend of the haunted mansion goes like this. Determined to end William's reign of terror once and for all, Emily ventured into the basement of the mansion and faced off against the evil spirit. In a fierce battle of will and magic, Emily managed to banish William's ghost back to the underworld, finally freeing the mansion from his grasp. With the ghost gone, the mansion returned to its former beauty and elegance. Emily stayed on as its caretaker, sharing the history and the story of her bravery with anyone who would listen. The mansion soon became a popular tourist destination, with people flocking from all over to see the site of the famous ghostly encounter. Years passed, and Emily grew old and eventually passed away. However, her legacy lived on, and the mansion remained a source of inspiration for those who dared to explore the realm of the paranormal. To this day, the Haunted Mansion in Memphis continues to be a place of mystery and intrigue. Its dark history is a testament to the bravery of those who dared to confront the unknown. Is this story real? Probably not. But maybe before we were all born, there were people fighting ghosts with magic and spells. Who knows? You would have to live in that time to know for sure. <laughs>